Hi, I'm Eric Blum. I'm president of Oak Valley College. I want to welcome you to this webinar. I want to let you know that if you want information about Oak Valley College, visit us online at oakvalleycollege.org. If you happen to drop out or if you want to um, gather or send this information, this webinar after it's taped to other people, you can go to oakvalleycollege.org slash webinar. Oak Valley College is a Christian college based here in Colton, California. We're excited to tell you more about who we are and what we do. Uh, we're a Christian college that provides a personalized education that gives you all the skills and tools you need to pursue a career in business or ministry or nonprofits. Um, the, the benefit of Oak Valley College is that personalized touch that we give every student. We uh, inspire you to do your best and to strive and to live, learn, and grow as you develop those skills and attributes. We're a liberal arts college, and as a liberal arts college, we teach you all the skills you need to learn critical thinking, uh, creative problem solving, and great communication skills. We offer the one degree in business uh, in order to provide efficiency and in order to keep costs down. As you probably already gathered is that this is a debt-free college, which is really cool for you because at a cost of around $12,000 for the entire degree, it's less than what you'd pay at a normal Christian, at, at any other Christian college in the country um, for just one semester of education. And you earn the whole Bachelor of Arts in Business. As we go through the rest of this webinar, I encourage you to reach out to our Dean of Admissions, Don Four, uh, when you're ready to apply. If you've already applied and you're looking for more information, Don will reach out to you and help you understand what, um, what you can do at Oak Valley College and what you can achieve. And, and we look forward to meeting you in person and hopefully uh, finding you here in a classroom in the fall. And uh, we wish you all the best in all your future endeavors. Thank you. Hi, I'm Don Floor, and I'm the Dean of Admissions from Oak Valley College. As I'm recruiting students, when I have the opportunity to, to talk to the parents of our, our, our students, they are overwhelmed, first off, with just the ability to provide a debt-free education. But what, what they're really excited about is the, is the opportunity to partner with their children to get this process finished. It's easy to sign some contracts and borrow money and then worry about paying for that after the student leaves. But now our, these parents get a chance to partner, keeping their children at home, which they really like, and then they also can help their, their children be able to get a part-time job, work their way through school, and in most cases now, our students are paying the tuition with their part-time job, and, and everybody wins. So it's a great partnership, and our parents are excited about that. We have both traditional and non-traditional students at, at Oak Valley College. The tra traditional, traditional students are the students right out of the high school, and, uh, and they're young, and uh, they're wondering, and they're not sure about what they want to do. And uh, as they talk with us and we counsel them, they realize that getting a four-year bachelor business degree in three years and being debt-free is a great way to start their life out of college. And so when they finish, now they're standing on, on, a, on a hill, actually, with a, with a four-year degree and no debt, and they can do whatever they want, go into business, and uh, or actually go and get some more education when they really focus what they really want to do. Our non-traditional students are, are students who are people who are already in the work, workforce, in the business world, and they figured out what they want to do and have realized that they need a business degree. And so we serve them uh, by bringing them into our college as well. It's interesting, I was talking with a pastor the other day, and uh, we were just talking about the issue of college indebtedness and and most students are leaving between with the, between the three, thirty thousand and one hundred thousand dollars of indebtedness with interest on top of that. And the typical student in America is taking him about twenty-one years to pay that off. He was telling me about now the issues of a of a senior pastor hiring staff members, and that the issue of having to try to pay them more money because they have all this student debt. And so now it's impacting churches and staff members. And so this is a big issue. And uh, it's very interesting to hear this pastor talk about how college indebtedness is impacting his ability to hire staff members for his church. When a student uh, hears about Oak Valley College, we want them to get on our website, uh, apply to our school, and, and finish the, the application, which means uh, uh, their personal information, an essay about why they want to come to Oak Valley College, and then also three references. And all we need in the references is a name of the person, their relationship to you, and their email. And then we send them out a questionnaire uh, uh, that they return to us. A lot of students will do the first part 
and then lag in, in the last part. We can't process the application until we get those references in. So I push students to, to work hard to get that application completed uh, right away. Uh, they could also, on the website, uh, there's a button to click so that they can get, uh, make an appointment actually on their own uh, for me to call them or for me to meet them. Uh, they also, can, as they call me, they can uh, make an appointment and we can bring them into a classroom. They can visit uh, with our students and our professors and see uh, a live action of a, of a class, classroom going on. Hi, my name is Dr. Aaron Hebbard and I'm the academic dean and professor here at Oak Valley College and it is a privilege to talk to you today. And what I'd like to address is the basics of our philosophy of education. Uh, we have a very strict Christian philosophy of education in that we believe that the Bible is the foundation of everything we do in principle and uh, therefore we walk according to God's Word and uh, as opposed to many ideas of Christian philosophy of education where they say well uh, we can teach whatever we want and uh, as long as we start with prayer or sprinkle a little bit of uh, Bible verses on top, uh, then let's just call it Christian. But uh, that's actually an improper view uh, where Proverbs says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and is the beginning of uh, knowledge and understanding. So everything must be founded upon the Word of God and built up upon top of it. And that way, like the uh, fool, who built his uh, house on the sand uh, and it crumbled. We want to be the wise men who uh, build their house upon the, the solid stone, upon the rock, and then when the storms come in life, uh, it will sustain, it will stand up because the Word of God is forever. Uh, and so when we are in the classroom, we want to be uh, challenging one another as the scriptures say that uh, iron sharpens iron that we want to have a biblical opinion that is going to encourage one another and at the same time be challenged by students and uh, fellow colleagues and the whole community here that we have a single standard and uh, it doesn't vary uh, it doesn't fluctuate uh, it is the constant and so uh, going forth, uh, we, we view, therefore, education as being synonymous with discipleship, that we are training these young men and women to think biblically and to go out in the world to impact the culture around them uh, because they've been trained in the Word of God and how to do business uh, by biblical standard and biblical principle and to be the light, to be the salt, to represent Christ as ambassadors and uh, ultimately that uh, to be, to build a city on a hill that uh, the world will come to Mount Zion and worship God and uh, this can be done through being a businessman or an entrepreneur or just a solid employee out in the world. And uh, our goal is to send these students out with these capabilities. Um, this is not to say that we don't prepare them with the rigor of intellectual academic pursuits, which we absolutely do. Uh, in order to do one well, uh, it necessitates doing the other well. So that's how we approach our teaching and our classes, uh, that we might do all things to the glory of God. Hi, my name is Mark Leonard. I'm the Executive Vice President at Oak Valley College and what I love about what we're doing by offering a business degree we give our students a lot of flexibility with where they take their life after they earn their degree with us because with a business degree you can do a lot, a lot of things you can um, start your own business which some of our students want to do they want to start something out of nothing and uh, run it and be their own boss but some of our students want to get a job in business and a business degree really helps them do that. And then the other part of our students, they want to work in ministries or for churches. And churches and ministries, they need people with business acumen, with, with the smarts and the skills that a business degree can offer them. So uh, the business degree really lets you go in any direction. Because when you think about it, you can work in any industry that you're inter interested in, uh, whether it's the medical industry or 
a company that sells things or anything that you want to do, nonprofits, and you can work on the business side of that industry. And that's why we offer a business degree because it allows our students to go anywhere with that degree. One of the things that we're most proud of is our Launchpad program. And that is sort of the, the upperclassmen opportunity to create something out of nothing while they're here at Oak Valley College. So the Launchpad program, our, our professors help our students start with a problem that they want to solve and then come up with ideas on how to solve that problem. And then we help them take that idea from nothing and make a prototype out of it, whether it's a service or a product. We'll prototype it and then we'll help them launch it into the world and they'll get real feedback from customers right here at Oak Valley College. That's part of the experience here in our Launchpad program. It's what we incorporate is something called design thinking. And design thinking is simply a, a way to solve problems. It's a process of solving problems to identify and define the problem, figure out where your market is and who your customers are and who you're trying to help, and then come up with different ways that you might solve that problem and test your idea. We do all that here at Oak Valley College with the, with the Launchpad program. It's, it's a lot of fun and uh, our professors are really excited to jump into that, into that. So if you're interested in working in, regardless of what industry you want to work in, if you're interested in a business degree from a Christian perspective where you can earn your degree in three years with no student debt, I really encourage you to take some sort of next step with Oak Valley College. Whether that's filling out an application or just giving us a phone call and talking to someone on the phone. Uh, our Dean of Admissions, Don Four, is great. Uh, you can schedule a phone call with him just by going to our website. There's a button on the home page. Just click that button, schedule a phone call, and you'll have a conversation with a real person about uh, what your experience would be like here at Oak Valley College. So I hope you got all the information that you need. We're so excited to learn more about you, what your dreams are, because that's really what this is about. This is about your education. We tell our students, this is your college. We would love to know more about you and hopefully turn Oak Valley College into your college. Again, visit our website, oakvalleycollege.org. Um, certainly check us out, uh, ask any questions that you have. Um, and bring your parents engaged in this process. If you are a parent, uh, we hope that we, we've answered every question that you have for us, but we are more than happy to meet with you and answer more specific questions about how we can uh, serve your son or daughter. And so with that, um, thank you for your attention, thank you for your time, and we wish you, again, all the best for your success in the future.